So to those who don't know yet, over the weekend, over in Abu Dhabi in the UAE, in the undercard of the uh, Dimitri Bivol versus Z Gilberto Zodo Ramirez fight, Galal Yafai fought against Gohan Rodriguez. It is it was uh, Yafai's what third professional fight against a, a very experienced uh, Gohan Rodriguez. The fight ended up going the distance. It went the whole ten rounds. And Yafai won the fight by split decision in a fight where he arguably lost. I said this before in the previous video I made talking about this fight um, where I, I said that uh, if this fight were anywhere else, um, anywhere else outside of the UAE or outside the Middle East or uh, the UK, um, let's say if the fight took place in the States, like when Yafai fought in at the Garden, um, I'm pretty confident that Gohan probably would have gotten the decision. It was that close of a fight that could have gone either way. So anyway, um, the fight did not look good in that fight. And this is probably the reason why. I'm not saying it as an excuse. I'm just saying that uh, this probably explains why he looked very flat-footed. Um, as you can see, he suffered an injury on his uh, left foot where it looked like the, the bottom of the skin and the bottom of his foot um, came off. Uh, it looks bad. <laughs> it looks very bad. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to post this on YouTube, but but yeah, it looks it looks bad. Uh, which I think why he he was very flat uh, flat footed in the fight. Um, you know, wasn't really moving around as much. I'm sure whenever he stepped with his left foot, I'm sure he felt the burn. Um, and as the fight went on, I'm sure it got worse. Uh, but still, I still honestly believe that Yafai should take it slow. Um, I feel like taking the fast track is not good for him. Um, I don't know. I think Matchroom really has that much confidence in him. But after this fight against Gohan, I think he, he should he should, he should take it slower and fight the right people uh, to help him gain the experience he needs before he steps in there against the big names. Because right now, I think he thinks he can compete against the big names. But honestly, if you put him in there, I think he'll get destroyed against the big names in the division. Um, so yeah, it's, it's time to take it slow for, for your fight, at least for the next couple of years and then fight for a world title. Um, cause it, he's, he's not ready. He's not ready. So anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Again, it's not an excuse of how, you know, of the fight. I'm just saying that it, it, it at least gives a, a little explanation of, uh, why your fight fought the way he did. At least that's the way I look at it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.